Hey everybody, it's B, and for the first time in a long time, I'm wearing my hair down on camera. So yeah, here I am, with my hair long and flowing and, well, I'm gonna be cutting it soon. Like, cutting it, cutting it. And I'm a little nervous. Uh, and I figured I should let you guys see it before it all goes away and if you follow me on snapchat I really don't ever wear it down so this is probably the last time that you'll see my hair like this <sighs> now for work obviously I've got a wig and I'll bring that over here and show you guys in a second but I just want to like kind of talk with you about my thoughts and my feelings on the haircut and thing. I guess we could start by just like talking about the history of my hair and why it is such an important thing to me. So uh, growing up, I had very beautiful but very tangly hair, it was, it was pretty long. And I remember I used to, uh, Dee used to braid my hair in this long, beautiful braid in the summer, and then she wouldn't tie it off, and I would bounce around on the bed until it all came out of the braid. It was so much fun. Uh, my hair was naturally like a, a dark brown color, but in the summer I would spend so much time outside that it would actually almost get golden blonde, like almost this color, not quite, but close. and. I loved it, but also um, I didn't because it gets in the way <laughs> when you're playing sports. And um, R used to actually be the one to brush out my hair after I would shower. And uh, one day he got really, really angry because every time he brushed my hair, it would be tangled and it would pull and I would cry. And no parent wants to make their kid cry, especially if it's a thing that you absolutely have to do. And I don't know why Dee wasn't the one brushing my hair, but it doesn't matter. Um, he got so angry one day that he actually chased me around the house with scissors yelling, I'm gonna cut off all your hair. <laughs> and it was mortifying. I was in kindergarten, you know, it was scary and terrible. And um, needless to say, uh, Dee took me to Supercuts the next day as soon as they opened and had me, they cut my hair, it was a bob, it was super short, and I might still have a picture of it somewhere. Um, I was a cute kid, I really was, I was adorable. Um, but from that point on, I, the, the value of long hair was lost on me, because having short hair actually felt great. Um, I didn't have any issues with it because, well, it never got in the way. Sometimes, you know, I had bangs, so they would get in my face, but you just put a headband on, you push it back, and it's gone. Um, but as I grew up, I let my hair grow out, I was the one to brush my own hair, so of course, you know, nice and long, and, um, uh, but I did keep it short, probably up until fourth grade. I moved to Upland from Ontario, and started to let it grow out a little bit, you know, get a little longer, and then it was, you know, like, usually the average length for my hair was around where it's at now maybe a little shorter and uh, I would always just you know pull it back and just have it out of the way uh, although I always did a low ponytail down here like this that was that was my hair <laughs> um, there were a lot of things I didn't like about it it has these weird fluffy little curls that come out right here and um, it would always be greasy because I was always outside, I was always sweaty, and I hated taking showers. Um, I was, I was just, I was a, a kid who just, you know, I was a wild child. And yeah, so I just always had my hair in a ponytail, and I never really thought of cutting it as an option, uh, to be honest. Like, I didn't think that that was a thing that I could decide for myself. So I didn't ever ask for it or really consider it. So yeah, and then all throughout middle school, that was my hairstyle, I was just pulled back. Or I would do two ponytails down here, 
And when I was home, um, I would have the two ponytails and I would wear a fedora because I was that, that kid and I would have these oversized shirts um, and skinny jeans. Don't ask, I don't know what, like I just thought I had fashion. I would wear like 10 belts, you know, just, I, I don't even really have any more pictures of me at that time period, but if I find some pictures to go along with these stories, I'm telling you, I'll stick them in. Because, you know, it's, it's worth looking at how I've progressed through the years. But yeah, um, and I had glasses, you know, but they were these thin rimmed round glasses. I was such a nerd and, you know, kind of an ugly duckling. Uh, not a lot of boys liked me. <laughs> a few girls did though. And then when we moved to Las Vegas, I wasn't having it. I was just, I don't know. Puberty had a lot to do with it. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it always does <laughs> with teens, you know, but I was 14 going on 15 and I was angry and I was sad and I, I was realizing that I wasn't who I thought I would become in the sense that just no parts growing on me and I just wasn't comfortable, you know? So I, um, well I was in ROTC and this was the excuse I had to cut my hair short. Um, but before, like, I was teetering on the edge of decision. Um, it was like the fifth day of school. I was in CAD class, which is like a computer-aided design, basically, but it was for houses. And, you know, it was just full of people who didn't really care. They didn't really want to be there. They thought it'd be an easy class. I was there because I was interested in architecture. I thought that would be cool. And so I had my hair pulled back and I had a little bow on it. Um, and this kid just kept balling up paper and throwing it in my ponytail and I didn't even notice. Until the end of class, I ran my hand through my hair and all these white papers came out. And I was like, yep, that's it. I'm cutting my hair, it's gone. <laughs> that, was, that was how I made my decision. And so then I told Dee, I was like, hey, so we're, I'm in ROTC and here's a list of approved hairstyles for females and one of them was obviously the bun, right, which is the center of your head and you use a sock and you create like a perfect little, perfect little donut on the back of your head. That was one of them. Um, and then another one was a dual French braid but it was only allowed in competitions or out of dress uniform. And then the other option was to cut it short, no longer than two inches in length. And I was like, yep, that's what I wanna do. I just want it all gone. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I am positive. And I've actually shown this picture in previous videos. I think in the one where I talked about all the times I came out to my parents. And um, I looked good. I think I looked schnazzy. She thought that I looked really cute too. Um, it just became an issue when people thought I was a boy. I think it made my family a little bit uncomfortable and for a second it felt good but I realized that it's not okay in the situation that I'm in for me to be okay with being identified as a boy. Um, so I quickly adjusted my reactions to, I'm not a boy. Um, and because it was such a problem I let my hair grow back out. Um, but I honestly liked it short. It's so crazy too because I had never had a real life boyfriend before and I went to an ROTC community service event with my hair short like that and it was March and it was cold and we were at lacrosse fields and we were basically cleaning up the lacrosse fields, getting them ready for the teams to play the next day and um, I just got paired up with these two guys who uh, our job was to walk around the field and pick up trash. That's what we were doing and um, I ended up dating them both but the one who I ended up dating first was just super sweet. He had these like nice blue eyes and um, I know that he asked me out because of my hair because he many many years later like five years later um, told me that he really wanted to try sex with a boy. Not like a boy boy, but like a guy. Because I'm thinking of us as kids, but we, we're not kids anymore. 
you know, he wanted to try sex with a guy. Um, and yeah, so I had like, I had a lot of positive experiences with it. Um, and then as I let my hair grow out again, um, I cut it short again. Not very short, but short enough. You know, I gave myself bangs into here. Um, but I was so depressed, I, I didn't take care of myself. I wouldn't shower for like weeks because I was in a very, very unhealthy relationship that just caused me a lot of emotional problems and my family life was not that great. And, um, yeah, a lot of reasons. When you're teens, everything sucks, I think. Um, and so I let it grow out again, nice and long, very, very long. It got down to, you know, like here where your rib cage is? That's about how long it got. That's the longest I think it's been in my young adult life. And uh, then I was dating a guy. This is like senior year. We've gone through four years of high school, we're at the end. I was dating a guy who had a hair fetish. Um, this is Bread Guy. He was very, very obsessive and very, very controlling. And he, um, he told me I could never cut my hair. I could never dye it, I could never cut it. Uh, I later on resorted to doing those things anyway and receiving some severe punishments for it, but I needed to have control over something in my life. And that was the one thing I took control over, was my hair. Fast forward to today. Well, fast forward to a year ago. <laughs> um, Daddy and I have moved in together and we're um, trying to figure out this whole relationship thing, like what are we exactly? And we're trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out like my work situation, like what am I? Am I a cam girl? Am I a prostitute? Am I not even built for this thing, you know, just all over the place, just trying to like figure out a business model and um, I was, I went through phases where I just dyed the living shit out of my hair, I bleached my hair red, bleached it, I dyed it red, and then I bleached it again and I dyed it blue and purple and I bleached it again and I dyed it black and then I went to my hairdresser and was like, help, I ruined my hair. Um, and she was like, well, we'll dye it as close to your natural color as possible. So we did a lot of reds um, because I really wanted to be a redhead. And then finally, we, you know, fast forward to today to where we're, this is where I'm at, you know? Um, but during that time period about a year ago, I told daddy, I was like, I really, really, really need to change my hair. And he was like, he was like, you, you really can't. And he's like, it's not because of me, it's because of your job. You have to have a consistent physical appearance. You have to look specifically like how your audience needs you to look. You have to be identifiable, you know? And he was right. And so I, that's why, another reason why I went to my, as close to my natural hair color as possible. But I still, I threw a huge fit about it because I'd just been in that situation. Um, and I thought it was him trying to be controlling, but it wasn't. I don't know, life is complicated. So here we are now. The last time I cut my hair really short, as short as I'm talking about cutting it now, was in 2009. Um, and so the reason why cutting it again is kind of stressful for me is because uh, I don't know if you guys are still going to like me when I do that. And I know that is so bizarre. It's weird. Um, personally, I'm excited. Personally, like on a just purely personal life level, I'm like, yes, finally. But I, I don't know how you guys are going to react. And um, so that's, that's where I'm at. And that's another reason why I started experimenting with the wigs and seeing what you guys like and what you don't like. And um, So the wig that I'm about to bring over is the one that I use, that I plan on using at the ranch. I used my blonde one last time I was there and that worked out pretty well. So this time I'm going to do a few test runs with the brown wig, see if it works. Um, it should, I don't think it won't. Uh, but that's another reason for the new wardrobe as well is because um, I'm gonna have a set 
specific 100% way that the character of Bunny Hughes is going to present. And right now it is all over the board and I need it to be very specific so that's where, what I'm going for. Um, but that doesn't mean anything's going to change with me on a personal level, I'm just going to have shorter hair. And yeah, so I've also, I'm nervous because I don't know what style I want. Um, I don't know how short I want to go. So if you guys have any suggestions on what type of men's style haircuts you think would look good on me, feel free to send them, you know, in links or tweet them at me on the Jackalope Tribe Twitter. Um, but, you know, so that's, that's, that's where things are at. So I'm going to put on this wig for you. Um, it's a lace front wig and I haven't cut the lace yet so it's gonna look a little bit funky. Um, but I need some special scissors to do that because the ones I have just, mm, they're not good enough. So, um, I haven't done that yet, but here we go. This is the wig and I've got a little hair tuck behind my ear here, but I think that it looks good. It's, uh, it's pretty realistic, and if you didn't know it was a wig, you would probably think this was my real hair. Um, it's the same brand, same company that I used, uh, for, I used for all of my wigs, um, but it's where I got the blonde one, which is what I tested out at the ranch, and nobody could tell the difference. So I have a feeling that once I style this a little bit, it's gonna look really realistic and it's gonna look really good, so. This is, this is Bunny. This is the Bunny wig. Um, and if you see me in a cute dress with it on, or with some lingerie, um, then you'll agree with me that it, it really does look very feminine and very beautiful. The way I see it right now, as always, whenever I dress up all cutesy and such, is, well, I'm like, I look like a drag queen. Like, I feel like I look like a man in drag. That's how I have always felt like I looked, but um, as you can see, I'm very pretty and cute, and uh, the wig looks good, so yeah, that's it I guess, um, just wanted to share how I'm feeling about the haircut with you guys, why I'm feeling that way, and um, show you the new wig, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think about hairstyles in the comments below. Um, if you are a trans guy and you are cutting your hair, or you're not cutting your hair, I'd love to hear about your reasons why um, because, you know, it's a big thing. It's a big thing for a lot of us, so, yeah. I love you all very much and I um, hope you're having a great week. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Jackalope Tribe, and earn your antlers, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. They're all in the end of this video so feel free to uh, look me up and then uh, click on some of the boxes at the end of the video because those are other things that I have made and I would love for you to see them. I love you all very much and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!